Guess what came in the mail today? My first two week temporary tattoo via Momentary Ink. So I've been playing around with the idea of getting this beetle tattoo for a while now and I just didn't know where I wanted it to go, how big I wanted it to be. So Momentary Ink has a custom tattoo option and I took advantage of that. So I drew out my little beetle and I just wanna show you a comparison with what I got and what, um, what I drew at home. So the color is not a perfect match. Mine is definitely like a turquoise teal color and what I got is light blue. I specified in the notes that I wanted the teal uh, or turquoise color to fade as, we, as it went towards the center of the beetle and as you can see that, that didn't really happen. They did add this, this black shading along the edges here, which, you know, that's fine. They made an attempt. So I got an inch and an inch and a half because I wasn't sure about the size. So I got each of these for $9 and uh, I was just gonna try the different, the different sizes just to see. I'm gonna save the smaller one. I I'm gonna try the smaller one probably right about here-ish on my wrist. I'm gonna do the larger one here on my forearm. Um, you can see that, yeah. Uh, I'm gonna try it right here. So despite the color not being a perfect match, they still did really well in my opinion in matching the drawing that I sent them. Let's go ahead and jump right in and get started. From everything I've read, it's gonna be as easy as any other temporary tattoo. So these are some of the things that you get in your, in your package. You get these little finger condoms here and you get the tiniest little bottle I've ever seen of real teal and of course your tattoo. First thing you should do is cleanse the area and shave it so that it's um, nice and smooth for your tattoo. And you are just going to peel the plastic off. The directions specify that you should have um, dripping wet paper towels and you're just going to put it on top and it says for about 30 seconds so so in the end when I uh, after the paper towels the, uh, the piece of the backing should just slide off Seems simple enough to me. Let's see here. Whoop, yep, definitely. Okay. So there it is. And now you're supposed to just sort of clean up the, pat it down a little bit, make sure uh, all the edges are good and there aren't any bubbles. So then you're gonna get one of your little finger condoms and, uh, and put it on. I don't know if this needs to be shaken or not. It's got a little ball in it like it should be shaken. So, um, oop, oop, oop. Also says you shouldn't move very much and I'm totally moving over here. Um, They said a little goes a long way. And that seems to be true. So I'm just going around the edges. Um, I'm gonna do, whoop. I seem to have one little upturned edge over here. Okay, I'm gonna let that dry. I'm gonna do just a little bit more. I already see some flaking and that might've been my fault for uh, messing with the edge over there, but um, I'm going to leave it f alone for a few minutes and you're not supposed to go, you know, do anything hard like wrestling or twisting or whatever. So, um, we will see how it looks in a few minutes. So I'm back with an update. I'm not real pleased with the way it's looking. You can already see like breaking down, it's it's like feathering or something. Um, it also, 
I, you know, I don't know if you can tell in the from this video, but like, there's like a crepiness to it. It's like, I mean, it looks like a temporary tattoo. It does not look like a real tattoo at all. Um, I can see the the edge, which is less of a big deal. I'm really more concerned with the fact that it already looks and appears to be breaking down over on this side. Uh, and, um, and I don't know, I mean, that, that creepy look, I don't know. I do not know. So at this point in time, I'm not going to tell you to not try momentary ink because this could easily be my fault the way it's uh, turned out and looking. And for starting at $9 for a custom tattoo, I mean, I think it's a great thing to try. It's not like it's permanent. It's not like it's gonna be there forever. So why not go ahead and try it? Anyway, uh, I'll keep you posted and show you how the smaller guy looks later. Bye.